Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing some more Sly. We are nearing the end of this map. I feel like we've done a lot of missions, so let's go ahead and do this. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent-up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. The updraft created by the flame should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close and old Grizzleface will be eating barbecued raccoons for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. All right, so which ones do I head to? So if I go over here, do I have to hit just one of them? So I'm confused about which one is the closest. Well, then let's just let's just do what my instincts tell me. Let's just go one by one. And I don't know why I have to ride all the way over here for the eggs that are on the other side of the map. But I'm just gonna do what I'm told here. Yeah, I don't know the reasoning behind it, but I'm not much of a rule breaker, so let's go up to this one. This is Wink. All right, one more. And I don't know where this takes. Oh, it takes us over there. Okay. okay this one should take us high enough. There we go. That oh, should give us enough lift. Gotta go not near the fire, huh? Okay, will this give me enough lift all the way to the hawks? I'm guessing... Oh, okay, this is part of the game where I gotta actually avoid them, too. No, not really. Let's just, uh... I... Dude, I gotta rewatch that footage. I did not get hit right there. Can I just hit this one and then go straight to the other one? Because that was kind of cheeks. These, these things are long rides, brother. I'm not trying to go all the way around the map again. Maybe I can just, like, quick, quickly head. I feel like I'm going to get into the red zone, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and try this again without getting sniped by a eagle. So, am I going to get hit by that? I feel like these are things that are a little harder to juke than... See, but I didn't make it... To... Oh, okay, I don't need to make it to the egg. I can just get to the bottom here. Okay, I got you. I was confused. I'm like, I am not going to have enough altitude to get all the way up there. Zoink. We making omelets. Let's do it. Just a little, couple of hops, skips, and jumps. And we'll be right there, Bentley. I feel like that frozen mammoth has to be some form of crime. Like, we released them just to basically kill them again. I feel like there's got to be something in the Geneva Convention about that. I can't fly in, in this, right? <laughs> no. Dude, no. Wait, no, it's not going to make me do the flight again. It's not going to make me do the flight again. Okay. I will not. Those coins? Who stepped into that? What kind of genius would do something along those lines? Alright. I think it's the final mission, right? 80%? The Lumberjack games are upon us. Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat Jean Basson at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Basson up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. 
Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Hassan from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basad's logs so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. Let's do it. <laughs> I wonder if there's actual lumberjack games in real life. There's gotta be, right? Okay, we need Bentley. All right, Bentley boy, you're up. Wee. Okay, guys, let's head down there and win those talons from Jean Bissot. And he totally Sorry, won't to see us. Low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. What's up, Bissot? Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play. So long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let them try. Okay, so I just have to hit it as close to the middle as possible, right? Okay, just give me a few seconds to adapt and uh, we'll, we'll hit it. Ten, ten, ten. Cross the board, bud. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Bassan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. Um, so how do I get there? How do I get there, though? And how do I know when to avoid the hawks? Is that just RNG? I just, like, hope to God I don't get smashed by a hawk? Or can I, like... Try to juke them out somehow. There we go. Again, I'm just running around in circles, hoping to not get squashed. Okay. Go to this one. Go to this one. There we go. Keep running, keep running. Okay, try that again this time, hopefully. My boy Sly doesn't like grabbing hooks, it seems. Alright, we'll make it up there in record time. There we go. Pretty good for a scrawny raccoon. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Hurry! Use those grapples to hook onto Bison. You will need to hook him with all three lines to pull him off the wall. I feel like this is not very sportsmanlike, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, all right, we'll give it. We'll give it another try. Alright, gears, I instantly have trouble gauging where I need to be aiming here. These lower ones are much, much easier, so that's why I need to hit... Okay, see, that second one I'm starting to hit consistently. 
go a little lower. Oh, that one's money. Yeah, there we go. It seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last, the spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. All right, Bentley. Me and you, bud. We got this. Just gotta hit those 50-50s. I don't know how I survived that, but I will definitely not complain. Mm, okay, good. Yeah, th those ones where I kind of like skim the water, I don't know how that's like legal, but hey, I'll take it. I will never say no to that. A little assistance from the game. Okay. Oh, that almost was bad. That was almost bad, but not bad. Just a little longer. I'm not gonna jinx it. I am not going to jinx it. You're one lucky turtle. Let's go. I'll give you that. But now, watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. John Bisson's got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Visson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. All right, so we got to do this pretty fast then. Okay, and I also need to equip that gadget. Okay, so where's alarm clock? Let's go ahead and put that to... L1, because I'm not going to need L1 right now. I just need to not let them see me. That's really just the hard part. And aiming the clock, I guess, in the proper direction. Okay. So now if we put a clock a little closer to there and jump into here. Alright. Let's say, is he close enough to the cave there? Alright. Bentley, he's in. Very next. Boink. 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 Get another barrel. Alright, number two. Let's go for three. Yeah, he does not look like a duck. He's pink. Purple? Is he pink or purple? Is it like a Barney situation here? What color? Is he magenta? The fuchsia? I don't know any other purples, so I'm kind of out of colors here. Okay, one more, and then we just gotta... Alright, there we go. Task successful. Judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the challenge, then why don't you just take them? Uh, uh. Ooh. Oh, triple kill. Head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly, Murray, wake up. Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Got a concussion, brother. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bison must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. 
I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Visson. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out which I love this I fight. Call. Yeah, kind of got to be careful of. Wait. <laughs> Anyone for some turtle soup? Wait. Oh, he won. No, I thought I won. Call out which that was cheeks. Okay, let's do this again. Flames. Saws. That really didn't hit him? I wonder if there's like a way to break this. There's got to be like a way to break this, right? Alright, come at me, bro. Yeah, I like, totally missed them with, like, all of those. There you go. Ah! All right. I totally forgot that I was also on top of those saws. I should do it there. Whew. A little bit of health. I'll take that. Oh, I'm not supposed to go in the water. My bad. I like dynamite. Like Bentley's whole thing too. He loves himself some bombs. All right, get close. Ooh! I was like itching my nose, and also now I gotta sneeze. Oh, you're gonna have to excuse me. I know you guys. Oh, say excuse me in the comments right now. No, I don't like killing. That's not good. Killing is mean, Mr. Bison. Bonk. Plates. I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, Braids triumph over Broad. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Bisson. 
Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Alright, well, Arpeggio has all of the parts now, so that kind of sucks, but where am I supposed to go? But what's nice now is, hey, all of the parts are in one place, so I guess that's a good thing in a sense. Um, oh, we got a bridge. Nice. I love bridges. Now, I was gonna say, how does Bentley get up there? I guess he climbs. Bentley gets thrown. Oh, and then Murray uses the wing. Boing. Nice. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there, sobbing, while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. We'll get that van back. No no shot. We just leave it. We're definitely coming back for it. Alright, is this the last... episode? This might be the last episode. That we will start... Next time, guys. Thanks for watching.